You are now. There we go. Wait. Hello, everybody. Oh, she's high as hell. I am not. Oh, you good Sugar rush. Well. We went dumpster diving tonight at the dollar store. Love that it's been a little while since we've been over there. Yeah. But we got a really nice haul tonight. Yep. Start with, we got five of these really nice glass vases and we put the flowers and we found some random there. assorted um silk flower pieces and shoved them in there and it looks really pretty so i might do that with the others as well yeah and then maybe i don't know get some other flowers to stick out the top yeah whatever we found a container of italian seasoning Probably one of the most random things I've ever found. very <laughs> random um we found one little hooky thing. Wish we keep those if we need them. We found a strip <laughs> of stickers that say stop. <laughs> That's random. We found the Pepsi code, which I'm not sharing because I'm going to use it. Now, let's get into the goodies. Woohoo! We found seven bags. Let me get this to a point where it's less shiny. Seven bags of yellow round tortilla chips. Which these aren't bad because we were starting to run low. <laughs> we found a bunch of tortilla chips before. Perfect. And we're almost out of them, so this Perfect. hit at a good time. Perfect timing. Yeah. <laughs> um, we found. Oh, yeah. 24 packages of Eclipse gum. Yeah, shower cleaner. Five of these. I'm not ready for that yet. Well, you should be. <laughs> 39 packages of extra gum. Experiment. The eclipse is winter frost, if anybody cares. Um, while we're doing gum, we also found 64 packages of icebreakers, ice cubes, Arctic grape. <laughs> Weirdo. Oh, no. What happened? He's so weird. Yeah, hey, I tell you. Um, Watch so yeah, it's like a, a gum lover's paradise here. Yeah. We found six packages of Nip Chi, which are the cheese crackers with the cheddar filling. Love those. We found... Where did I write it? Which side did I write it on? I don't know. Was it 12 of these? I think. 12 of the toasty, which are the round crackers with peanut butter in the middle. Yeah. Um, 11 of the Captain Wafers, which I'm eating one right now, so. which are like regular crackers with cream cheese and chives. Yeah, I'm the only one that's he's the only one that'll eat chives, yeah, so I love those. Those are his, yeah. <laughs> and was it 24 of the Toast Chi, yeah, which are good. the cheese crackers with peanut butter in the middle? Yep, yeah. pretty good selection there. <laughs> something for everybody in the family. Yep. Okay, now I'm ready for that because it's the next <laughs> thing in line. Okay, we got five of these. Five bottles of the works bath and toilet cleaner or whatever it's called. Yeah. Tub and shower cleaner. Bathroom cleaner. <laughs> yeah, good enough. Whatever. Works for everything. That one escaped again. Yeah. Come here. 64. Back up in there. 64. Dude. We found... 48 of these original salted nut rolls. We opened one up and tried it, and they are very similar to a payday bar. Super sweet. So not something you can just, like, scarf down in a heartbeat. Yeah. Takes a while to, yeah. to eat those. You guys are a lot of those. 48 packages of wintergreen mint lifesavers. And <laughs> my personal favorite only out of one. all of these goodies. It's the, only, it's the only thing you'll eat. Out of, you know, we won't and we didn't that. count them, but the box they were in says 48, and there's at least that many. If not more. Peanut M&Ms. These are the 1.74 ounce size packets. Yep. And I'm the only one in the house that'll eat peanut M&Ms. <laughs> so these are for me. We were actually hoping to find just regular m ms so everyone can have them. You were hoping. Yeah. Well. I'm happy with what we found. <laughs> True. 
Anyway. I'm going to I'm going to the chat. Yeah, area. we like to go dumpster diving for the fun of it. It's not because yeah. we have to go. Yeah. But because it's fun to go. The thrill of the hunt, basically. It's the thrill of the hunt. You never know what you're going to find. Yep. Yeah. It's like a great big mystery box. I Why do you think people love these uh, subscription boxes? It's because there's the thrill of finding out what's yeah, in them. Exactly. But this the dumpster is a giant mystery box. You never know yeah. what you're going to find. Yeah. Sometimes you find a lot of stuff. Sometimes, sometimes you don't find much at all. And sometimes you won't find anything. And sometimes they're empty. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, but first tip would be know your times. Know the times for when people are going to pick stuff up. You know, the trash people. Yeah, that's a very good tip. If you decide you want to try dumpster diving, know when the dumpsters are emptied. Because for us, um, it's Wednesdays and Thursdays. Wednesdays and Thursdays are the best days for yeah, us to go. Yeah, best days for us. And here because the dumpster gets emptied on Tuesdays and Fridays. Yep. Um, and that's just the the cycle yeah. they're set on. Yep. And we never think to go on the weekend, so I don't know how well the weekends are, but yeah. Wednesdays and Thursdays are usually pretty good for us at yeah. the location we go to. And here, um, this was all from one location, yeah. Dollar Tree. And yeah. Um, and also, it depends on what you want. Do you want a lot of this kind of stuff? Go to the dollar store. If you want video games, go to GameStop or any sort of video game place. If you want, there's a, always a chance you might find something. Yeah. Um, like Speed Diver finds a lot. Pay attention to the location. In that, some places do not want dumpster divers there. So they will put signs up that say no trespassing. They'll lock, their, their They'll dumpster, lock the dumpster. Put them in a cage and lock the cage even. Yeah, we have a, a Dollar General down the street that we can't go to yeah. because they lock the dumpster. It's in a cage and it's posted no trespassing. Yep. So don't bother. So don't do that. Meanwhile, there the one in there's in <laughs> Pomeroy that is open. <laughs> so probably got a different owner. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Yeah. Most likely. I was getting ready to say. <laughs> Another tip is when you do go, clean up after yourself. Yep. Um, because it's going to ruin it for everybody. Yep. If you don't. <laughs> yeah, we like to make sure um, it's cleaner than. We, we try to make it. sure it's cleaner than we found it, if possible. Yep. Um. We always pick up after ourselves as well. Always clean up after yourself. You don't want to leave trash laying around. You don't want to leave boxes all over. Yep. If you take stuff out and set it on the ground so that you can get deeper in and see. Because we find a lot of good stuff on the bottom. Exactly. Um, like these. On his channel you'll see the actual dive video. Yeah. Whenever he gets it put up. Yep. Of where we found all these goodies. And he's down in yeah. pulling stuff out from under and boxes. And the only reason we did that was because we saw the cleaner. Yeah. Um, when we were looking in from the top, I saw the box with the cleaner sticking out. But I couldn't tell what it was. I said, there's something in that box. Yeah. It looks so, like some kind of liquid. It probably yeah. had one that leaked and they just throw the whole batch away. Yeah. That happens a lot. Yeah. More um, than you think. We found laundry detergent that way. We found... Um, like the the refills for the little soap dispensers that you put in the bathroom or the kitchen. Yep. We found a whole bunch of those because one leaked, they pitched <laughs> the whole box. Just like if one or two <laughs> things of glass are broken, they um, pitch everything. That's the five vases that we found were originally in a box of 12. And they took like six. And of them. six of the spaces were empty. Which it, it probably took and them. the other six still had stuff in them. Five of them have no damage whatsoever, and the sixth was smashed. The ones that we brought home. So we brought home the five good ones. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Um, that's why we like the dollar store. Yeah. We don't like to take things like meat <coughs> or and dairy yeah. because they might be expired, and you don't know how long it's been in the dumpster. Yeah. Especially on hot days. <laughs> so those are just some tips. Um, things like chips... Don't worry so much about the expiration date or the sell-by date. Yeah. It's just a guideline for the, freshness. The majority of Those what stuff we... stuff are so full preservatives. The, yeah, the majority... They're not going to be bad. Yeah, the majority of what we bring At home worst, they might get stale. Yeah. Um, so those are just a few tips if you're interested. And it's time to say bye because my 10 minutes is up. See so you later. see you next time.